Welcome to Zotero, writing with Microsoft Word. There are three main ways to write using Zotero and Microsoft Word. You can drag and drop citations. This will quickly add citations and bibliographies to any document. There's no persistent connection to Zotero, so it can't help you manage any changes, but it's a great way to write a short paper or to work quickly. You can copy and paste bibliographies. This makes great bibliographies in your documents, even in an email, in any citation style. Again, there's no persistent connection to Zotero, but this is probably the preferred way of creating annotated bibliographies. And finally, you can use the toolbar. This adds citations and bibliographies to any document, and it automatically manages updates from Zotero. This can really help with longer papers. Let's start with writing your paper without the toolbar. To get started, you'll have to set up your default citation style. Do this in your Zotero Preferences. You can find this on a Windows machine in the Edit menu, and on a Mac in the Zotero menu. Go to the Export tab, and then select your default format. In this case, I've chosen the Chicago Manual of Style 17th edition, which is a footnoted style. Here I am in Word, and I have a sentence that needs a citation. So I add a footnote. And then back in Zotero, I highlight the item I want to cite, hold down the Shift key, and drag the citation over into Word. There, it's made a footnote for me. When I'm all done, I can create a bibliography. To do this, I give it a title. And then back in Zotero, I simply drag the item or items I want over into my bibliography. This is now set up with the bibliography format. You may want to adjust things a little bit so that they line up with the rest of your text, but the citation format should be generally there. Another way to create a bibliography that stands alone and isn't permanently connected is to give it a title. And then over in Zotero you can select an item, or to select multiple you can hold down the command or the control key to select multiple items. Then right-click, create bibliography from items, and select whatever citation style you want. You'll want a bibliography, most likely, and you'll most likely want to copy to the clipboard. Say OK, and now over in your document or your email or whatever, paste, and you'll end up with a bibliography. This is now ready for you to type anything you want. For example, you could start an annotated bibliography. Now let's look at writing your paper with the toolbar. First you're going to need to connect your word processor to Zotero. Again, this will be in your preferences, so go on a Mac to Zotero and then Preferences, and on a Windows go to the Edit menu and then Preferences. Click on Site, and then click Word Processors and install the word processor add-in that you need. Now you should be ready to begin writing. In Word, I have my sentence where I want to add a citation, so I go to the Zotero toolbar and I click Add Edit Citation. The first time you do this, you'll get a pop-up saying, what kind of citation style do you want to use in this particular document? I still want to use Chicago style, so I click OK. Then I get to search for the title or author that I want to cite right now. Here's the item that I want to cite. And I know that my information came from page 3, so I'm going to click into it and add the page number. Hit enter, and then enter again, and Zotero will add the footnote and the citation where it should go. When I'm all done writing my paper, I can create a bibliography. First, I give it a title. And then, over in the Zotero menu, I click Add Edit Bibliography. Zotero will now go through all of my footnotes and create a bibliography entry for each one. Now again, there's no way that Zotero or any program will be able to get all of these citations 100% correct, so you'll need to check them and make sure that they're proper. However, never ever ever type inside of these citations that Zotero generates. This will corrupt your programs and make your document unusable. Instead, go back to Zotero, click into the item you need to update, and make your edits there. Perhaps I need an exclamation point. Then back in Word, click Refresh. 
your changes will come over. Sometimes there are edits that you simply can't get the program to make. In that case, wait till you're all done writing your paper, and then save a copy. Finally, click Unlink Citations. You'll get a warning. And now these are just plain text. You'll be able to type however you like. For instance, I could start typing annotations. So that's writing with Microsoft Word. And as always, if questions come up, please contact us. We're here to help.